This is a story about me and you. And the beauty that we did pursue. This is our proposal story, and Christian's gonna tell his version first, and then I'll tell my version. Yeah. <laughs> so, start from the beginning. Um, okay. Uh, why are you laughing? Uh, me and Amy have talked about like getting married for like the past year, like in serious form. Um, and I had told her that I would propose sometime after I was done with grad school. Uh, since I was focusing on school and finishing strong, um, I didn't want, um, yeah, like I didn't want the stress of like planning for a wedding <laughs> and talking about wedding things when I'm worried about my assignment or going into the prison where I was doing my internship at. Um, so right around the time school was finishing, I was like, oh, I want, I need to talk to Amy's Thea and her dad. And so I was like, okay, how am I gonna talk to them? Um, and so the initial plan was for me to speak to them when we went home for a Father's Day weekend. Um, that, Friday, I believe, I spoke to my dad and I let him know that I was ready for like marriage with Amy and stuff. And he gave me like a serious father-son conversation and stress for me to like ask for their blessing, like in person, uh, which was the plan. But then the next day we were at a barbecue at her house and me and Amy are like this. And so like, it was really hard for for me to get like alone, like get some alone time with her Thea and her dad without making it suspicious. Um, just cause everyone's gonna jump to conclusions if they see me speaking to them alone with no one around. Um, so I just like scratch that, like I'll figure it out. Um, then when we came back home, my dad called me. I was like, hey, did you end up asking uh, for permission or like their blessing and I was like no nah, I'm just gonna call them um, it's it, it was just too hard to do it in person and he was like nah you like have to do it in person once the next time you're home and I was like I don't know maybe like the holidays he's like well then you have to ask then and I was just like yeah I think that's not how it's gonna work um, just due to COVID and like me transitioning jobs and then Amy working from home like yeah, we don't know when we'll be back to the bay. So I was just like, I have to do it over the phone, which is, yeah, definitely not like plan A. Um, so I texted uh, our comadre, Amy's cousin and our goddaughter's mom. Shout out to Jackie. Um, and I was like, hey, can I get like um, Javi's and Tia Chayo's like a uh, number so I can um, call them? And she was like, why? And then she was like, wait, I know why. And so, yeah, Jackie was the first person she, that knew. Um, was, it, was she the first official person that knew? Nah, I think, I mean, some people, like, in my inner circle, like, knew that I was going to ask. They just didn't know when. But, like, in my family? Yeah. She was the first one? Yeah. In your family, she was the first one. Um, and I kind of was talking to her, and that, that's when I realized that before I spoke to them and asked for their blessing that I needed the ring. Um, and so, like, like I said before, like, me and Amy have talked about marriage for, for a minute. The ring. <laughs> um, and so she's been sending me, like, rings she wants, and she's, like, super, 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 like, specific, like, very picky, like, I want this type of ring with this type of cut with this many carrots. <laughs> and so, in, in, in some way, she made it a lot easier. Um, this was, like, way before, like, a yeah. year in advance. Yeah, 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 Like, definitely. a couple months before your graduation, though. Yeah, and so... so like, uh, I've always sent you rings yeah. to, like, give you an idea of what kind of ring I wanted. Yeah, so it was kind of as simple as, like, looking at some of the links and seeing, like, what was... What would look good in her, like, <laughs> tiny little hands. Um, and, yeah, I just kind of, you know, Apple Pay comes in clutch. It's also very bad. For, for some chopaholics. Um, so yeah, I, I got the ring. We had measured her ring 
her finger, finger her finger a few months before and we thought we did it correctly we did it two different ways <laughs> super wrong it was like two sizes too large um and so yeah i ordered it um it came in the mail um and it was we have like a locker room where they like put the packages inside the locker room um and it got there two days on july 2nd but then we had friends come over on july 4th and i let them know i had gone in the ring um, and Andrea, shout out. Yeah, uh, they're my friends. <laughs> but from the why day. didn't you guys tell me too? I was in the bathroom while you guys were discussing my ring. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they're my friends from the Bay. Like I met them through work, and then they're up here for one of them is in uh, Andrea is getting her PhD. Are uh, you uh, And so now they're they're both here, Andrea and Alana. And so I told them that I got the ring. They're like, oh, let me see a picture. Um, but now when I walked into their car, I had forgotten my phone. Um, and so we like did something else or Amy went to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's when I got my phone out and I showed them pictures because it was still in the locker room. Like it was sitting there for like two or three days, honestly. Um, I was just scared. I was like afraid to like go get it. And then Amy seeing like, oh, what'd you order this time? And then her seeing a big ass <laughs> box or like a small box. Like I didn't know what the size of the box. Um, so yeah. So finally, like, honestly, maybe around July fifth or sixth it was on a monday and the ring has been in the locker room for like four days now five days and so i went super early from work um amy was still sleeping and i went and grabbed it opened it real quick um took a picture of it and then shoved it in my backpack and so i've made my dining like area or kitchen area like into my office um and amy doesn't touch my my work stuff like she'll clean around it she'll like won't even move it to the side she just leaves it where it's at so i'm like Oh, she's never going to, like, find out it's here. Um, and, I mean, we, like, our, our place is pretty spacious, but I was just like, no, like, she doesn't touch my work stuff because of HIPAA and just, she just leaves it there. So I was like, she won't come near here. Um, so once I had the ring, um, I was texting Jackie and I was like, hey, like, you know, I'm thinking of when to do it. I think I have a date, which I think was August 1st. That you uh, wanted to do it? Yeah, that was the initial date. Uh, I had different options. I looked into like hot air balloons. I looked into like doing it. Um, I would have had a panic attack up there. Yeah, we're both, <laughs> we're both low key afraid of heights. Um, yeah, just different options. And I was just like, no, it needs to be something like meaningful. Um, and like, you know, wanting a photographer and not wanting a photographer there. Like, I took a lot of things into the equation. And then, Finally, I was like, I'm gonna do it at a waterfall. Like she loves waterfalls. Um, and we live in Washington state, which has like a lot of waterfalls that are near Seattle. So I was like, okay, cool. I have the date and I have like a place. And so now I talked to Andrea and Alana and they are gonna help me. Um, this whole situation where like, they were gonna invite us to, to a waterfall um and then like i had gotten like champagne glasses and i was gonna get a champagne bottle for us to toast after the hike and the waterfall if amy said yes the champagne glasses were already delivered yeah at andrea's and alana's house i had the champagne I, glasses oh, i had no idea like flew right above uh, so that was the initial plan it was like set and go and then amy just randomly like it was like mid-july and amy randomly started talking about like wanting to get her nails done that's uh, not the story. And I was like, oh, you should. Like, you know, we've been quarantined since March. And, like, the beauty salons or whatever had barely opened here in Washington State. So I was like, you should. She's like, I kind of want acrylics. And I was like, well, you should. Like, you're not working in person. Like, you know, she typically works out of school with a kid. Um, and so, like, having acrylics is not, like, the best thing. And so I was like, yeah, you should just get acrylics. She agreed. So I was like, okay, cool. And then I started thinking in the back of my head. I was like, does she know? <laughs> and I was like, nah, she don't know. And then one random day, we were, like, watching TV, and, like, we're, like, sitting next to each other, like, cuddling or whatever. And then randomly, she's like, oh, wouldn't it be nice if you were proposed in front of a waterfall? And I'm like, fuck, this homegirl knows already. Um, <laughs> and so I got, like, mad, and I was, like, red. I was frustrated inside. I was like, oh. I was like, how'd she find out? And, like, first thing was, like, she she looked at my phone. She probably saw, like, the text messages. Like, I had put, like, Jackie's, um, Andrea and Alana's text messages, like, on silent. 
um, so that like it won't beep or anything when they text. Um, and so I had an idea that Amy like maybe looked through my phone or she like overheard me talking to one of them. And so I was like, fuck. So I was like, never mind, never mind, scratch that plan. I'm gonna ask her the following weekend. Um, so I, t I texted along to Andrea, I'm like, she knows, she knows. I'm like, I told them like my suspicions about Amy knowing. I told Jackie the same thing. Um, and so the plan was for me to ask her at like these beach beachy area up a little bit up north. Um, and, and so once I had that and plan that set, I was like, okay, cool. Now it's time to ask for permission. Um, and Jackie had given me advice saying that like their family is very like chismoso. And so like, if I do Sorry, ask yeah. for, <laughs> if I do ask for permission, like I got to ask um amy like pr the proposal like a day or two after because yeah they'll just like start calling everyone and be like oh amy's getting engaged amy's getting engaged x y and z and so i was like okay so i called them on a wednesday um i was i was doing some work stuff i was doing an assessment super late and then i like how to do some some phone calls in the room um and amy was cooking dinner and she never cooks dinner um <laughs> <laughs> she never cooks dinner. So a, she was. He had to point that out. <laughs> she she uh she was cooking dinner, and so I came out. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let me tell you, I got this ring. I just. <laughs> uh. Anyways. Um. And so yeah. So I came out of the room around eight, and I was like, "Damn, it's late. They're probably asleep." And so I just grabbed the trash, and I told Amy, "I was like, well, I'm gonna throw away the trash." And she was like, "Okay, then. Like, dinner's almost ready." Um. And she was kind of mad, and I think she was mad because it was, like, super hot, and, like, she doesn't cook, and so it's super <laughs> hot, and she's in front of, like, the stove, and so she's just, like, irritated, so I'm just, like, whatever. And then I thought he was mad at me because I was mad, but it wasn't at him. Anyways, I went, I went to the trash. I, like, on the way to the trash, which is, like, maybe, like, a mini walk or less uh, from our apartment, I called her Thea. Her Thea didn't answer, so I texted her, and I'm like, hey, it's Christian, um, I just wanted to, like, talk to you real quick, and I was like, please don't tell me, it's, like, nothing serious, um, and she texted back, she was like, yeah, call me, um, uh, I'm, like, waiting by the phone, and I was like, okay, cool, um, and I was already coming back to the apartment, so when her Thea texted back, I, like, went back to where the trash was, and I was just literally chilling next to the trash, <laughs> um, as I talked to her Thea, like, you know, I told her what was going on, and, like, you know, wanted her blessing, she was like, you're asking the wrong person. She ask Amy, like, what if she says no? Um, she was just kidding. She was joking around. She was like really happy. She's like, she was just concerned about Amy's health. And Amy, like, she wasn't posting as much online on like social media. So she was like, yeah, I think she was like depressed. Um, and I was just like, nah, like, you know, she had some medical stuff going on and we got it like fixed or whatever. We're like on it. So like, she should be fine now. Um, so we talked for a while and she was like just saying that she's super happy for me and and this and that and so um, she passed the phone to Amy's dad and I was like super nervous I like you know gave him the same spiel about like me being in love with Amy and us being together for a long and <laughs> knowing that we didn't do it like the traditional way and the fact that she like moved up here before we were married um, but he, he appeared happy, but, like, didn't say much. He was just very quiet. He was like, yeah, like, as long as you guys are happy, like, it's okay with me type of thing. Um, and so, yeah, I think that was it. We hung up, and I came back. And I think that whole conversation lasted about 15, 20 minutes. And then you came back, and we ate dinner angrily. Just yeah, Amy was just like, I thought you were mad at me. And I was just like, nah, like, I was talking to my mom. <laughs> And my mom lives in Mexico, so, I, you know, Amy knows that when I talk to her, like, we're on the phone for a little long. Uh, but I, I told her, like, some shit happened with my family, but, like, everything was cool, and then we ate dinner and everything. And, like, it was, like, a straight, it was, like, taking, like, a whole bottle of Advil or something. Like, I was just relaxed. I was, like, okay, the hardest part, or, well, I thought the hardest part was done. <laughs> was done. Um, so this was Wednesday, and we had, I had planned to like propose on that Saturday. So we go to the beach. Um, I tell Amy like, oh, I wanna go to this area, but we kind of have to wake up early. Uh, and Amy doesn't wake up early, especially on the weekends. Uh, she woke up super early. Like we left, I mean, not on time, but we left pretty early. Um, it was like a two hour drive or so, one way. Um, but everything went fine until we got to the beach area. And like, 
I couldn't find the trail I wanted to take. Um, and so we were just on the beach and we had chocolate, like our dog um, with us. And there was just too many rocks. Like the beaches out here, unlike the beaches in Cali, where like, it's all just rock. There's, there's like absolutely no, no, no sand. Um, and it just didn't feel right. Like I had wrote a letter to Amy. I had it like in my fanny pack because that's where like I hid the ring. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just like, well, you know, just in case I can't say the words, I'll give her the letter. And I had it like planned out on my head and everything, uh, but it just didn't feel right. So we like left, um, didn't mention anything to her. Um, I told, I texted my friends and I was like, hey, it didn't happen today. Um, I was like, I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. And so me and we were like, what do we, what should we do tomorrow? Tomorrow's Sunday. Um, and then we had talked about going to like the Olympic Peninsula out here. Uh, and I was like, okay, cool. I'll ask her at like the beach we um, went to last year in March. Super nice, super beautiful. Um, but then the hotel we wanted to stay at were like, they were all booked. They wouldn't let us book. So I was just like, nah, never mind. And so I just went on Google and I was like closest waterfalls to Seattle and like <laughs> I was looking at the different hikes and I was like like we haven't gone hiking at all. Um We say we always want to and then we get lazy and yeah. we just eat food. Well she eats most of the food. Um anyways, yeah, so I found one, I told Amy I was like, Oh, let's go to a hike tomorrow. She was cool with it. Um <clears throat> we woke up like pretty early. And again, like I had my fanny pack on for like a full week so she wouldn't be suspicious since I was already planning on like hiding like the ring, um, the ring in there. And yeah, so we went on the hike, um, almost didn't make it. Like it was, I mean, <laughs> almost it's, it's a like easy, easy to like intermediate hike. Oh, yeah. um, it's just long. It, yeah, it was long. And it's steep. Yeah. In certain parts of it. Yeah. It's like flat and then steep and then flat and then steep. Yeah. He almost threw in the towel like 50 times. No, nah, I was just like once. and But Amy fought twice and like <laughs> I was thinking in my head, I was like, what if we don't make it? Like, you know, like should I ask in the middle of the woods? I'm like, that's still kind of romantic, you know? Very um, twilighty. Yeah, very twilight. Like, anyways, we got, we got to the waterfall and like we're chilling there. Like, oh, it's super beautiful. It's like. You know, it exceeded at least my expectations of like what a waterfall is. Cause like the initial <laughs> waterfall I had thought about was way too small. It was like nothing compared to this one. Um, and then some people were there and they leave. And so me and Amy are alone. And she mentions it. She's like, oh, we're alone. And I was like, we are? And I was like, oh, we are. And so we're taking pictures and I'm like, oh shit. Like I have to ask now cause people are gonna come down any second. <laughs> And so when she's turned around, she's like facing the waterfall, like to take a step back. And like I take, I open my fanny pack and grab their ring box and put it in my like short pocket. And like it almost falls. And I was just like, okay, it's in my pocket now. So I know I need to ask in like the next 30 seconds. <laughs> um, super nervous, like super hot. Like we were already sweaty. Like it was just a hot mess. I'm glad there wasn't a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so as like Amy is turning around slowly, I like get down to, to one knee and like, you know, I open the box and I'm like, will you marry me? And she's like saying what the hell, like for like five minutes and she like shoved me and I, I was like super nervous. I was just like, is this a yes? And she's like, I don't know what you said. I think it's like, what the hell? Yes. Like, well, duh. Well, duh. And so like, I finally get up and like. You know, I'm like, can you put the ring on? She was like, no, you're supposed to do that. And like, my hand was hella shaking. Um, I was scared that since we were like on this overlook, that the ring would like fall into like the water. I'm like, if this ring falls, like we can't get that bit. Like yeah. it's long gone. Um, but no, finally, like I was able to have some, like stabilize my hands somehow. Um, and we put the ring on and then that's when we realized it was way too big yeah uh so we were very very careful in like taking pictures and then some like old white guy came and then he looked at us and then he looked at amy's hand he was like oh i know what you did and i was just like yeah and then like amy tends to talk to like the whole road so she wanted to tell him like the whole story i'm like dude some fucking like white dude who's like 50 and asking hella questions and we're like two brown people i'm like he's gonna like kill us or whatever um but nah he was like super sweet like he uh he what? he like took pictures of us and then we were like okay cool this is fine he's like worst photographer in the world 
Um, I looked at the pictures. And I'm like, we look turned the fuck up. Like we look turned. It was just it was a hot mess. But yeah, <laughs> um, we like went back to the car. Uh, we stopped for a little bit. And we were drinking water. Um, and like I opened my backpack because I had my backpack on to to get like water. Um, <laughs> And we had like one cold ass water bottle that like slipped out of my hands and went down the hill. We're like, fuck. Yeah. Now we have half a water bottle. Not even half. Yeah, like a little bit like less a than fourth. half. Uh, and I'm like, can we make it down? And you're like, we should be able to make it and down. And we had chocolate too. Yeah. Our dog. She's this little thing. And she hiked up there for the two hours. And yeah. we're like, we need to give her water too. So we had to like split it between the three of us. Yeah, so we were rationing it for a minute. And then me and Amy just took a sip and gave the rest of the chocolate. <laughs> we almost was, died out there. I was like, we'll make it down. <laughs> um, and so the idea was like, even part of like this whole proposal was like, I think two weeks after, which is her tia's um, birthday. Mm -hmm. um, I got us like a rental car to, for us to go back to the bay um, and got got us a hotel room at like Amy's favorite hotel in Redwood City. <laughs> um, and I was like, okay. And I told her like, hey, we're, you know, FYI, we're going to the bay this weekend. She's like, we are? And I was like, yep. Yeah. I was like, everything's already booked. Like we're ready to go. So he proposed and then he told me, oh, and we're going to the bay in two weeks. Yeah. I'm um, like, damn. And the idea was that, like, Amy had told me, like, a few months ago that, like, she would want to tell people in person um, that, that, that we're engaged that or whatever. That didn't happen. And no, nah, as soon as we got to the car, she started FaceTiming <laughs> and calling everyone. Um, but, yeah, I think that's, like, at least my part. Um, this is, like, the ring box. It's, like, huge. It's it's super fatty. <laughs> Fun. Um, and so, yeah, like, I even For thought scale. about, <laughs> I thought about, like, buying a smaller box, because I was like, that's fucking huge, like, like the why ring. is it so big? It, it doesn't make any sense. It's um, hella big. It's huge. <laughs> um, but now nah, I, like, ended up keeping mm -hmm. it. Um, but yeah, like, the, you know, I kept changing things around, because I, I swore that Amy knew. Um, she somehow found out. Um... Did you find out? <laughs> Are we telling people? Well, I don't know. Amy will, will share her story of things. <laughs> oh, man. Because, like, in every story... Let me, let me just drink real quick. <laughs> like, in every story, there's always two sides of it. And y'all heard my side, the truth. <clears throat> um, I need a shot. Just kidding. And then now Amy will tell her version of it. I don't even know where to start at. I feel like for me, I'll start at <clears throat> the nails okay. because everybody thought the people that knew thought I knew when I had gotten my nails done. Okay. So one day we were just here in the living room and I was like, oh, my nails are starting to hurt my real nails. Like they hurt me like when they start growing out. So I was like, I need to cut them. Christian suggests oh, do you want to go get your nails done? I wasn't going to say no. So I was like, yeah, let's go. So then uh, we ended up going. And once we're there, he's like, do you want to get acrylics? And I was like, yeah. Or no, no, no. It was here. It was here. Here. You were, it was here. He was like, you want to get acrylics? Yeah, because I was looking at like inspiration pics. That's true. So I was, he was like, do you want to get acrylics? And I was like, uh, okay. Like Christian said, you know, I haven't been at work. It's the summer anyway. I can't have them on at work, blah, 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 this and that. Like, I miss my acrylic nails. So, yeah, I'll get acrylics. So, tell me why I picked the most bridal-looking nails. It was, like, like French tip, but it looked, like, hella nice. It was, like, stiletto with, like, French tip. I don't know if you guys remember seeing it on my stories. I might have it in my pictures that I can insert in the video somewhere. But they looked hella bridal. And so... When we met up with our friends, like, after, like, whatever, with Andre and Alana, they were like, oh, Andre was like, I thought you knew because your nails were hella bright. I was like, I knew nothing. So when did we get our our nails done? Like, on Monday or Tuesday? Yeah. It was, like, on Monday or Tuesday. I knew nothing. So then, leading up to whatever, so it was, like, Friday. And then on Friday, I still knew nothing, whatever, until I went to go do my laundry. <laughs> So I found out, <clears throat> okay, so in our laundry, like 
place in the apartments like you need an app to pay for your for the washing machine and the dryer so i was like oh i don't have any more money in my in my app and then christian's like oh do you want to use my app and i was like okay like so i don't like put more money into my app so i go and i go put um the things in the washer or no, no no i think it was the time when i had to go put in the dryer so i was putting the stuff away in the dryer and in my phone i'm used to closing all my apps as soon as i'm done using them so as soon as like i send a text message i close the app christian has this problem of not ever closing his apps and i always still close his apps even like you know like if i'm like using his phone for something i'm always closing all of his apps so when i went to go to the the put the money or go put my clothes in the dryer and i had paid for it or whatever i was closing the apps and i was as i was closing the apps i had seen a a, a whatsapp message to his mom but it was the a picture of the big ass box and a ring inside of it and i was like hold up that looks like the ring i want so i was like swiping up but then i brought it back down and i was like that looks like the ring i wanted oh my god i was like heart thumping i was like i need to calm down because i'm not supposed to know like i didn't know how long he had it for i knew nothing nothing i was fucking oblivious so i was fucking oblivious and i knew nothing so I had to come back to the apartment acting like I did not just find out what I just found out. <clears throat> so I like had my little girly moment in the laundry room and then I came back into the apartment and I just go Christian to Christian. I was like, here you go. And that was it. So then <laughs> I have no clue. And mind you, like, I think it was that morning I sent my mom a picture of the ring because I, I told my mom felt so confident i told my mom i was like oh like i got the ring like i kissed that like and she saw it and she liked it oh, it's muy bonito, this and that um but i just didn't think much of it i was like oh you know i mean amy doesn't even use whatsapp so i was like she won't know but i didn't go into the app i was closing the apps you left it open anyway so then he goes and throws away some trash Mm -hmm. I think he went to go throw away some chocolate. No, I think I'm, I walked chocolate. Oh, yeah, he was walking chocolate. And I was like, I gotta look for it. Like, something just came over, and I was like, I gotta look for it. And I was like, in his workspace. And so I came over here, crawling like a little creepy person. And the first place I looked was in his backpack. And I just reached my hand in there, and I felt the box. But I didn't look at it. I didn't nothing. I was like, okay, that feels like the box. And in inside of the backpack too, you could see a FedEx box, and the FedEx box had like a bigger box in it where this where this little box came in. And uh, yeah, I just felt the little box. I saw the big box, and I was like, that kind of looks like the symbol of the place that I wanted the ring from. So then I was like, I don't know what time Christian's coming back from walking jogging because the dog park's like right here. So I was like, okay, that's it. You felt it. You saw the picture adding up you know that a ring is coming just stop but did i stop <laughs> did you stop i think any normal person would have oh my god dude it's an illness i can't hold on so fast forward to saturday so fast forward to saturday <sighs> we were getting ready i told christian go ahead go warm up the car i'll be out there real quick so then once Christian left to go warm up the car, I was like, I got to look for it. Oh, no. Did you go walk chocolate again or something? No, I went to walk the car and I took my fanny pack with me. Okay. Yeah. So he went to go warm up, warm up his car and then he took a fanny pack with him. And then I was like, okay, I got to go look in the, in the bag again. I want to see if it's the, I want to see the actual box. I was never going to look in it. I just wanted to see that it was the actual box. She yeah, has a chance to look inside of it. <laughs> anyway... I went back and I opened up the backpack and nothing was there anymore. And I was like, fuck. And I was like, oh, he probably has it in his fanny pack or he probably has it on him, I thought. And I was like, oh, maybe he's going to do it today. So then we go to Deceptions Pass is the first place he wanted to propose at, but he couldn't find the trail, the trail that he wanted mm. to do it at. So it, it didn't happen there. I guess it just didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel right. So then, but on the way up to Deceptions Pass, I was like, oh, oh why don't you take off your fanny pack? Mm. 
Do you want I had me? it on I as was, I was driving. Yeah, and I was like, do you want me to hold your fanny pack? And I kind of had an idea was in there, so I kept saying all these little things like, oh, I can hold your fanny pack. Oh, you need your wallet? I can grab it because I think at one point you threw it in the back seat. Mm -hmm. So then anyway, we came back home, and I think uh, he went to go walk chocolate again. And yeah. his fanny pack was here on the, on the table, and I was like, it's in his fanny pack. So then I open up the fanny pack and you see the big old box. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, it's in there. So then I close the fanny pack again and then I go pretend like nothing happened. So then Sunday came along and I, I don't think at that point I checked anymore because like it, it, I, I already so. knew. Yeah. So I was like, okay, like that's it. Like I think it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen today, but wait, go backwards a little bit. So on Saturday when it didn't happen on the way back. I, w I had to, like, self-talk to myself and be like, you can't be mad. You can't act like anything's bugging you. You got to act fucking normal because you can't take this moment from him. And if he sees you mad, he's going to get, like, some idea that you know. But he thought I knew at some point. But when he thought I knew, I didn't know until Friday. And then Saturday is when, you know, deceptions passed and everything. Like, I had to act normal, whatever. Sunday came along. <sighs> I had a little idea that it was going to happen. But then once we hit that one hour mark, I was like, this isn't going to happen today. We're all sweating. I had straightened my hair that day. And my who, and who, who does their makeup when we're going on a hike? I didn't like, think it was going to be that long. I thought we were going to like take a hike and then it was going to be like cute pictures. I thought we were going to take like cute pictures. That's why I did like, I didn't do like a whole face of makeup. But anyway, we were hella sweating. My hair got all like like nasty with sweat oh my god it was we were disgusting chocolate i don't know how the hell she made it up there but she <laughs> made it two hours up and two hours down i don't know what the fuck so anyway yeah the one hour mark i was like this isn't gonna happen today let's just get up there and go back down because i'm hungry and i i want to go home <laughs> i was exhausted and so was christian so then we end up up at the at the waterfall and it was hella pretty. Like it was just like un chorro de agua just like falling and I don't know, I love waterfalls. Like it, I always tell Christian like it makes your thoughts just like go away. Like you can't hear anything. So we're like admiring the waterfall and um like hella people were down there and like Christian said at one point I was like, Oh, there's nobody else down here. And so I think we had gone to like, there was like two parts where you could go on like the bridge. And um, there was like a secluded area. So we had gone there <clears throat> and we we're taking pictures and stuff. And then after I had turned around to take pictures of the waterfall. And then I had turned around and Christian, you just see him get down on one knee hella quick. And poor thing, like his words couldn't even come out. And I'm over here like, is this really happening? Like I knew it was going to happen, but... At the same time, it's like, it, like it hits you. You're like, what the fuck? But I didn't say what the fuck. I was like, what the hell? For like five hours, couldn't get anything else out. And I was like, what the hell? What the hell? And he was like, will you marry me? And I was like, what the hell? And I just kept like pushing him. I was like, is this for real? And I was like, what the hell? What the hell? Like so confused. And then after he was like, well, will you marry me? Pobrecito was on his knee for who knows how long. It like, it was all blurred. And he's like, will you marry me? I was like, well, duh. Like, for me, it was just like, if there was any other answer, like, well, duh, 15 years later. Like, well, duh. And then um, he got up and then he was like, take the ring. I was like, no, you got to put it on me. Ew, I'm going to cry. <laughs> and then he was like, take the ring and I was like no you got to put it on me and poor thing was like all shaking trying to put the ring on and then I'm shaking like trying to get him to put the ring on so we're both shaking and he think he's thinking he's gonna drop it and then finally like you know we get it on and it's hella big and you know we're hella happy and crying and yeah <laughs> <laughs> And then the white guy came down and took pictures for us, but they're like creepy looking. So I think those pictures are just for us. <laughs> but um, yeah. And then after I got, we got back to the car and then I FaceTimed everybody and everybody knew. And we had to post that day because we thought my tia was going to post about it. And we're like, oh, well, we should get it out, you know, since like she's going to post about it. And then she never posted about it. So we're like, well, damn. <laughs> We didn't get to like savor really a little bit. 
the engagement, but um, yeah, yeah, we like announced it on social media and the mm. whole world knew. <laughs> and Not for, even 24 hours later, her ring was like on the way to New York to oh, get resized. Oh yeah, that was devastating. I was so sad. It was on the way to New York to get resized and we we're trying to get it back in time for when we went to the Bay Area. Um, and then what else? I think that was it, no? Yeah. Yeah, but that's the engagement story. We got engaged in a waterfall. Well, not in the waterfall, but at a waterfall. And it was beautiful. Yeah. And Amy knew the entire time. I did not know the entire time. I knew two one day before if you did it Saturday, but two days before because you did it Sunday. Yeah. But the you moral did. of the story. Hide it good. Hide it at your friend's house. <laughs> yeah. Hide it outside the house. And not in your car. <laughs> oh my god. The funny thing is too... I think like a couple days before, I was like, oh my God, Christian, I have the best idea. And you were like, what? Because I think you had just gotten shoes delivered. Oh, yeah. And I was like, okay. like ring, Apple Pay. ring companies and shoe companies should team up together. And Christian's like, well, what do you mean? I was like, like, if a fiance wants to order the ring, they should order a pair of shoes with it. So then, like, you know, a girlfriend's not going to be like, oh, let me see your shoes. Let me try them on. You're not the same size. And, you know, they hide it in the shoe. If you steal this idea, like, include me in it because I just gave you the idea. But you put the, the ring inside of the shoe, and then that's where it's hidden. Wouldn't that be smart? And get shipped like that? That's hella smart. And I didn't know at that time. <laughs> so that's the story. Um, we do have plans for a wedding date. I think we're only telling people our wedding year. No? Well, I mean, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. So we're, we're planning a year 22 wedding. Uh, we're just hoping for all of COVID to like die down and all of that. And hopefully by the year 22, we're able to have our wedding. But other than that, we're not telling people dates. We're not telling people colors. We're not telling people anything. Um like we haven't even announced our bridal party or anything like we are not not we're not like lagging or anything because i feel like we have everything figured out it's just about putting deposits down and all of that but i'm excited i am too <laughs> finally after 15 years finally no more. I can't sing single ladies at the club. But yeah, right. I'm probably still going to sing it. <laughs> so there is the ring, you guys. Maybe because it's like... Anyway. Can you see it better like that? Kind of. Really. No, you can't see it at all like that. But that's the ring. Alright, you guys. <laughs> that's the proposal story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And... Let us know if you thought I knew this whole time. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I didn't know. All right. Bye, guys.